Yo, this is Alex from Zounds with three tips and tricks for Isotopes Ozone 11. So the first tip is a pretty simple one. It's to not overlook the power of the presets. The presets can help you get really quick results like what you're looking for, but they also can help you learn about the different modules. So for instance, let's take this track from a short film that I've been working on. And let's just pull up a preset here. Maybe this wide stereo image, this is a nice preset for these more cinematic tracks. You can tell here in our imager, we have a few different views. We're getting a lot of nice side content here. Sometimes in like pop and hip hop tracks, you want things to be a little more centered, a little more focused, a little more emphasizing transients. Um, in this type of track though, more ambient tracks, uh, it's really nice to have a big stereo image, especially if they're gonna be played on big speakers later. Um, let's also take a look at another one. This is a genre specific. They have some genre specific mastering presets here. This is the cinematic preset. One thing I really like about this preset is it uses this impact module, which is new to Ozone 11, um, using a crossover function here. Basically what it's doing is it's exciting transients. So they call it microdynamics. So as something may hit, you can see here in these sub hits on this low band here are getting just a little bit of an extra boost. Sometimes that extra boost could be a little bit flooding for our low end. Um, so for tip number two, one thing I really like to do to control those dynamics is to add a dynamic EQ. Let's bring this back towards the beginning of that section. And what I'm gonna do for these sub hits, I've got an area around like 43, 44, somewhere in there. Um, especially a little bit later in the track, there's kind of a big sub hit. It can be a little bit overwhelming for the section. We're gonna tighten this up a tad and we're gonna create a cut, but the cut is only going to engage when we're hitting this low end threshold. So we're gonna take it up a little bit right here. So as we get those sub hits, it's just a little bit too low. We don't wanna take it out too much. Let's skip to this bigger sub hit a little later. All right, right around here. Let's watch how this reacts. You can see it's basically cutting and, and slowly giving us back our frequencies. And it's gonna give us all that extra sustain that we like to like keep a nice, thick, warm low end, but also not to overwhelm the extra sound design and dialogue that'll be added later. And that's a few tips and tricks um, to use ozone on the mastering chain. Another way that we can use ozone, this is our third tip, use the modules as separate plugins. Um, so for instance, I'm gonna take this little reverse piano part I have here and add a stereo instance of the vintage tape module. And we're just gonna kind of create like a old saturated style tape distortion. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add some um, automation to it. We're gonna add automation to both the harmonics slider a big automation to that. And then also just to the input gain, the input drive. Basically what that's gonna do is give us a nice boost, but also just extra harmonic content, almost like we're adding gain and saturation to the track. So let's see what that looks like on the sliders here. You can see they're moving with the automation. Let's get a little further into the clip here. You can hear the obvious gain boost, but also a lot of extra harmonic content in that uh, upper mid section. There's three tips and tricks for Isotopes Ozone 11. If you enjoyed this, consider subscribing and we'll see you next time.